The other problems are to, are to do with adjustment, yeah. the reactions of other people. Why don't we come on to that now, which is right. a very important topic. Yes. What was your um, observation about how people related to you after you were back at home and started to venture out again? Well, one of the earliest, there's two incidents I will ever, forever remember. Uh, the first one, I was at a, a jazz festival and a friend of mine said towards the end of the day, I'll say goodbye to you now in case I never see you again. Mm. <laughs> that really creased me up and I started to laugh. And my friend, she rushed when she realized what she'd said. The other one was a bit naughty. I, I went into a chemist shop to collect some medication and uh, she was uh, physically a well-endowed uh, lady. Uh, I'll say no more, I think you get the, the idea. And she leant right the way over the counter, right the way over. She supported herself on her elbows so that she could get her head close up to me, to the side of my head. And very loudly, so that other people in the shop could hear, she said, good God, what's happened to your face? I bit my lip, I always said, good God, what's happened to your breasts? <laughs> so. Those two, and there are many others uh, that have come up, but you learn the defensive mechanisms and you use humour, mm. in most cases, to combat the intrusions that inevitably come the way. I have spent four years as a welcomer at Leicester Cathedral on Thursdays, mm -hmm. uh, giving people an idea of the history of the place. Mm. One of the things that I found very quickly was that it's essential, this is an important lesson, it is essential when meeting people for the first time not to give them even milliseconds to decide on their reaction to my disfigurement. Hmm. That I must break the ice straight away to make light of it, you know, in some way or other, get a smile going hmm. and break through that barrier of embarrassment or whatever they, no matter how they might react. And can you say how you do that? Yes, uh, uh, I mean, I, I can say, for example, I hope you can understand me. Mm. And they say, of course I can. And I say, because I have often a great deal of trouble understanding myself. Yeah. It's little things like that. Mm. On very rare occasions, when the intrusion, there's a difference between a look and a stare. Mm. There's a difference between curiosity from a child mm and I wanted curiosity from an adult. Mm. You've got to, the children, it's very natural. And I find that once they come up and they say, what's happened to your face? And I explain, mm. and they go away and carry on playing. Mm. Yeah, it's simple. In rare cases, when people are too intrusive, on a bus or wherever, then I have a very special hard stare, mm. an evil one, stare them out, stare back. But that's a little unusual. Yeah. Um, but you do find, though, there are occasions when you do get an unpleasant reaction. Yes, it, it's, it's inevitable. And from the beginning of time, hmm. when meeting people for the first time, I lived near the Scottish border, uh, and, and the story was that the English went over the border uh, to steal the sheep, and the Scots came down to steal the women. Hmm. And... and and it was important to know the person coming towards you was the person coming to ask for help in friendship yeah. or was the person coming to destroy you. Mm. So the reactions, assessing, uh, you know, make up a decision about how you're going to react to this person. Yes, it's important. Uh, so in the it's very society, important. Yeah. And it happens so quickly, mm. etc. cetera. Mm. So there's a big study going on of which I've been asked to, to write and contribute to a book on, on, on stigma yes. uh, and such. A, because we are, what I can tell you what really makes me angry, mm -hmm. when I'm in a restaurant with my wife mm. and the waiter or waitresses ignores me mm. and talks to my wife, mm. mm. uh, etc. Now they are taking their lives in their hands when they do this. I am not mentally retarded. Mm. I'm not a non-person. There's that wonderful radio program by Peter White, who was 
uh, lined. Yes. I Does he take, take sugar, sugar yes. etc. I'll have none of that nonsense, yeah. uh, etc. So we have to get that one straight. Now, what, what's happening there, to break that down, I mean, my impression of what's happening there is that somebody's judging you by your appearance and then extrapolating that into your whole persona. Oh, yes. And then they're judging, uh, oh, I'll just make it easy and talk to, you know, this person's um, relative without asking you anything. Our, our face is the most important part of our body when it comes to... Um, uh, that sort of assessment and, and, and so on. Mm. And the Chinese knew of this. Mm. And, and the Chinese words to cover this, and now since the 18, late 1800s have entered into the English vocabulary. I can't remember the Chinese words, but in translation, mm. it's saving face and losing face. Mm. And when this happens, you have lost face mm. uh, and so on, literally. But that has other connotations and to do with Perhaps you're unintelligent, you know, you, whatever. Yes, because in society we tend to excessively judge people by their looks, unfortunately. People are always, it's a matter of confidence building. People are always trying to present them, themselves in the best possible way. Sure. This is why I say I don't have to be old and scruffy. I could be old, I don't have to be scruffy <laughs> uh, and, and so on. You know, put it that way yeah. uh, and so on. And of course, fortunes are spent on making people look better, sure. because when they look better, they feel more confident. Mm. Now, I'm interested in the reverse about positive reactions. Do, do you get some positive interactions when you go out? Um, yes, I, 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 I tend not to take too much notice of them, um, because I, I do get, my goodness, how well you look. Yeah. Um, so from friends or acquaintances or you know colleagues, um, sometimes a positive reaction can uh, be uh, me you know meaningful and helpful, but sometimes it might be superficial. Yes, yeah, so I mean, something springs to mind. Mm. Um, oh, I think you're an inspiration. Mm. I think you're very brave. Mm. Bravery doesn't come into this. Mm. Bravery doesn't come into it when there really isn't anything other. Bravery was my 16-year-old uncle being told to go over the top of the sun mm. when he knew what was facing him mm. and he wouldn't see the sunset again. Mm. That's bravery. Mm. So when people say, oh, you're brave, I, I, or you're an inspiration, no, no, I am what I am. Mm. But still, people might um, see how you've coped with the situation, which is adverse. You know, the population is scared of what you've been through. They might see you managing, at least um, as far as we can tell, fairly well on certain days. And then they might say, well, then perhaps I could do the same. Perhaps I could cope. In other words, they might take you as a positive example. I think it is so important for us to present, no matter how you're feeling, mm. to present the whole thing in a very positive confidence building manner. Mm, mm. The other feelings of my looking in the morning in the mirror and thinking, oh my God, you're an ugly soul. <laughs> That's for me. Yeah. I, I don't want anyone else. No. That. So the two things are separate. Yeah. Uh, and so on. So feeling down and low, mm. transient, mm. always try to see the funny side, being out and about. Mm. Don't sit at home very important, so if we come on to talking about a support group and supporting other people, yes. uh, when we first started a support group locally, mm. uh, three ladies came in, mother and two daughters, and the, the mother uh, from uh, an African country felt the culture of probably uh, to be particularly concerned about the face. Mm. And, and she didn't look too badly disfigured. Mm -hmm. They had an enormous job of getting her out of the house. Mm, and mm. I, I found myself talking to her and saying, you know, please, 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 mm. don't let this rule the rest of your life, mm. you know? Well, then that's a very good point, that there's a lot of people with a certain degree of change in their appearance who really are very afraid of going out after that moment. I have one, and I say this in all seriousness for a change, I have one big benefit in all of this. Mm -hmm. 
From the time I was a small child, I never had a very high appearance of my looks. Yes. And that was certainly confirmed by my lack of girlfriends <laughs> when I was growing up. Mm. So I think with that behind me, mm. uh, it, it, it didn't fuss me too much mm. to find that, you know, there was a, a mm. further difficulty. But someone who was born and growing up, mm. thinking even a small vacnio is the end of the world, mm. then I can understand it could be quite devastating. Yes. What about the um, concept of desensitization, which means essentially something's painful initially, but by, by being exposed to it for a long time, it becomes less and less of an issue. Can that have an effect in relation to appearance? So on a, on a personal level, do you find that people who see you very regularly, maybe close family, really the appearance is no longer an issue because they're, they're, just, they're now used to the new you in, a, in appearance terms? Freefall, it isn't just a matter of appearance, it's personality. Mm. And once people have made up their mind about you as a person, yeah. whether they like you or dislike you or whatever, mm. uh, that tends to, to last. Yeah. The other thing I find is that as time goes by, and I tend to go uh, down the same streets, I tend to go in the same shops. Exactly. People are now used to me, mm. etc. Interesting that the two surgeons at the very beginning, when they were deciding what to do, their, their concern seemed to be that the flap coming from my chest would be white mm. amongst a weather-beaten complexion. Mm. So at first, people were reacting to me because this was white and this was mm. reddish. Yeah. Now that's toned down. So that's also the part of people not paying so much attention. Yes, I, I can see that.